In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Luke chapter 13, verses 18 through to 21. Then he said, What is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and put into his garden, and it grew and became a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took, and hid in three measures of meal, until it was all leavened. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants. In the scripture reading today, we have two parables about the kingdom, the kingdom of God. And Jesus said in the first section, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it with? He said it's like a mustard seed. And if we have any gardeners out there, and I must be honest, I'm not a gardener, but a mustard seed is a very, very tiny seed. But it comes from a very, very large tree. He says that a man buried it in his garden and it grew, it became a large tree, and birds of the air nested in its branches. Then it gave us another example to what shall I like in the kingdom of God? It is like leaven. Now for any of you cooks out there or chefs, you know what happens with leaven yeast, and people put it into flour. How, when it's worked in, it goes right through all the flour, and of course then you add water, and you ply it, and it, all of a sudden, it starts working. And what was once small becomes very large. The dough rises. The kingdom of God within us starts off very small. And as you do with the mustard seed, you water it, the plant, and the flour that has the leaven through it, you put water into that and it expands. So too, our faith, when it is worked upon, when it is nourished with the water, it too grows. Think for a moment about your faith. How big is it? How strong is it? Do you work it like you would the, the dough? We need to work on these things, for the kingdom of God is within us. Yes, that little bit of seed, that little bit of faith that we first started with, it grows within. But if we neglect it, it dies. It withers away. Because we know in this world full of darkness there's much strife, 
and trials and tribulations. Yes. And without faith, we suffer immensely. Yes. So as we read in this short reading today about the parables of the kingdom, we need to work on our faith. At the end of this month, we start the great Lenten fast. This is a time of prayer, of fasting. To focus ourselves not on what's happening in the world, but what is going to happen later when God, Jesus Christ, returns. How strong is your faith? Are you ready? Have you been working on your faith? Have you been feeding it, nourishing it, take care of it, needing it? Or have you just like stuck a seed in the ground and just left it? And of course that's what happens then. The ants would come and eat and devour it. We need to focus. And that's the good thing about Great Lent. The church has given us this time to focus on how strong our faith is. It's a difficult time, yes. Fasting and prayer is not easy. A lot of people find it very, very difficult. And they break it. It's like people who are trying to lose weight. They start a diet one day and two days later maybe they'll break it and go and have that cream cake or whatever. Yes. We have to have that test to see how strong our faith is. I urge you all to pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you. Yes, to focus in on your faith. Work on it. Read the scriptures, pray fast. And get yourself to church. Stop making excuses why you don't go. And why you don't receive Holy Communion. Oh, you have to fast before, so. But the blessings that you receive from that outweighs all this other. So I, all I say now is work on your faith and your mustard seed ever becomes a true big tree, large tree. And never forget every day to give God the glory for every opportunity he bestows upon you to work on your faith. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.